today we're gonna make a healthy side dish, beluga lentils. They're called beluga lentils because they're small, black, beautiful pearls. They look like caviar, like beluga caviar. So we add them to a pot, cover them generously with water, and we're gonna bring them up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. Simmer very low, very slow for about 30 minutes. Turn off the heat and just let them sit until we're ready. Now, mince up some vegetables. This is completely up to you. I like to use onions, I like fennel, and I also like carrots. So just mince them as small as possible. For the carrots, I just cut strips like that, thin strips, and then I cut match sticks, and then I cut small little squares, but really it's up to you. Now I also like to add a little bit of leafy greens to this. You can use kale, you can use arugula, you can use spinach. I'm using Swiss chard, so give your greens a little rinse, dry them off, give them a little chop, and now we're just gonna give them a saute. You can add garlic or chili flake. I'm keeping it very plain and I'm just using olive oil, saute it, get that moisture out so it doesn't leach out into your lentils later on in the dish. Set that aside once it's sauteed, add a little more oil to your pan. And now we're gonna add the vegetables right to that pan. We're gonna cook them low and slow until they're nice and soft. If you notice your carrots are still a little crunchy, you can add a little bit of water to the pan. I add about a quarter cup and I reduce that water all the way down till it's nice and dry. That should soften up your carrots significantly. Now add a little salt, add a little pepper, and add your lentils directly to that pan. Now keep in mind, all your vegetables are cooked and soft, so you don't really need to cook it any further. You just wanna heat everything up and kind of marry those flavors together. So give it a nice little toss and you're all good. So turn off the heat, add a knob of cold butter, a couple drops of vinegar, and give it a nice little stir. Now the butter is optional. It adds a creamy and a richness to the dish, but you can leave it out. The vinegar, I think you should definitely add. The acidity of it just kind of enhances the flavor of all the ingredients. And now we're just gonna put it on a plate and we're gonna serve it with anything we'd like. You could do fish, you could do meat. Today, I just did a nice piece of seared salmon. So I hope you like this recipe. I hope you make lentils, it's very healthy. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and thank you for watching.